guys, welcome to the show today. We're checking out, this is the Canon Pro 200. Now this is the most pro level printer you should get as a normal person because this is non-pigment ink. Woo. Do you know what pigment ink is? No, what is it, it is oil-based ink. So that means it requires a lot more maintenance. You need to be printing out pretty much every week to keep your printer functional. Otherwise it'll clog up and you'll be in problems. What's the problems. benefit of having a pigmented paint printer? Well, so the benefits of a pigment-based ink is that it lasts for a long, 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 long Ooh. time. Now these, these things actually have improved a lot. They don't fade as much into the sun as they used to. And that's before it starts to fade. Wow. We're obviously gonna be doing some testing and checking this stuff out to see what's going on. But yeah, I get this ink jet printer over a pigment-based printer if you're lazy and you don't know what you're doing with the printing world. <laughs> that's what we've done. Can we just see what's inside the box? We're gonna open the box, but can you please let everyone know why you want a printer? Well, do you know what? I have that many photos I need to print off of my baby. My baby is now over a year old and I haven't printed off a single picture. And the reason that's causing that to happen is because I'm a little bit too apprehensive about taking these personal pictures to a private space, whereby actually photos that came up, they said they have to keep your pictures on file for one year. One year? Why? Yeah, they don't see pictures of me for one year. I know. One second is enough. <laughs> Quite right. And so hence I thought, well, the best way to do it is to do it myself. And so we went down this quest of finding a printer that would be good enough for, you know, supermarket great quality, even better than supermarket quality. There you go. The best quality you can get. Now inside the box, boom, what is this? This is probably the ink Ooh. cartridges. We're going to love that. These, mm, they smell. Smells inky. Maybe you should smell it. But yeah, it it's good stuff. You get like this retro vision. It's a CD wow. ROM. So, wow, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Now, I've actually got a CD player recently. I'm going to see if it works on that kind of music, what kind of tracks is in there. I think it's going to be drivers, but... I don't think the see. music's here. <laughs> this Welcome to is... Canon. Welcome to Canon. This is your printer. Getting Welcome started. Online setup. <laughs> this is you. Do you hey, like you? reading this stuff? Oh, yep. no. What? These are the cartridges in here. Oh. Check it out. You get cartridges and... Oh, this is really well packaged, i got to say. But I'm going to need your help before you start reading the manual. Yes. I'm sorry for giving you the manual early. That's okay. I'm going to somehow get this printer out of the box. This is a large printer. I have to say, this is like an A3 plus size printer. This has got some humongous. Oh, look at that. Canon. That's Thank you handles. so much for being so thoughtful. Yo. Oh, love that. Okay, I've got it. Love that. Place this to one side. Oh my gosh, the most thoughtful packaging ever. For a massive printer, it's not it's that, that heavy. Big, yeah. Very compact in size. I was actually expecting an A3 printer to be like mahusive, but this is actually quite compact and uh, yeah, easy to handle. So here we have the Pixma Canon Pro 200 and you can see it's got some beautiful LCD displays here. It's got some easy to start up functionings. And I gotta say, I do like this technique. I do like this texture that it has on the casing. It feels like a, a wooden texture. It feels quite nice and grippy. And then obviously down here you've got your paper. Oh, listen to that. That is smooth. That is, I have been dealing with at work another type of printer, which is not A3 at all, but oh my God, the sound is so annoying when it goes in and out of the tray. This is like so much more smoother. You know you're getting quality. That sounds good. So I have a job for you. Yes. I see a lot of plastic. The plastics need to be removed. Done. Done, done, done. Let's do this. Ooh, feel kind of guilty taking off the plastic, you know? So the first thing you do is connect the power cord. Turn on the printer. And that's where the head's going to go. You can see there is a connector point right there. So you've got to be careful about this part. Getting rid of the orange connector tab. So you just wait until the print head holder stops moving. And then you lift the grey tab and slot the head in place, that fits in, then you lock in the tab, like that, and that's where the cartridges will go. And this is the pack of cartridges you get, they're all fully sealed, doesn't matter what order you put in, but it tells you the label's right there. So this is a C, so you can say C will go there. They're all sealed, get rid of the plastic, avoid touching the electronics right there. To get rid of the tab, you twist it, and you place it in. It clicks into place like that. Once the cover's closed, it's going to start to initialize. So the first thing you need to do is align the paper. So here I have some cheap A4 paper that I use in my laser printer. Open it up. So at the top here, you get paper holders over here. So I'm just going to line it up to the paper. Bunch all those papers together and line them up like that. So it's nice and tight. Look at that right there. It is officially the first 
piece of printout that I've got. It's obviously going to be aligning the colors, make sure everything's perfect, but this is the first one on this crappy piece of paper. It's going to go again. This process is going to last four minutes. And after that, we're going to be using high quality paper and printing out some amazing photos. So once the printer is set up, it shows you the levels of ink. You choose what kind of paper you're going to be using. You've got maintenance mode that allows you to check the nozzle, clean the head, all these kind of good stuff. Easy maintenance, print a template and lots of settings in there. Probably best to configure via your computer when printing out, but you can even update the firmware once you've got internet connection. You can also connect to Wi-Fi. So the first thing I did actually when I got this printer is I printed out the same photo, just tweaking the settings. When I first printed out the photo, it just looked a little bit dark. So I tried playing with the brightness, the contrast, all these settings. The setting that I found works the best is if you just boost the shadows by 50%. This printout actually looks like what it does on the actual screen. So this is the photo how it looks like on the screen. And when I printed it out, it looked a lot darker. So what I did was in the color settings, I went to the shadows here and boosted it up to 50%. That over brightened it on the screen. On the screen, because it's backlit, it looks a lot brighter than it does on paper. A lot of the professionals, what they do is they make their monitor match, color match the printer. What I do is I just boost the shadows by 50% and that makes makes the photo just look really good. So when I came to printing out a more expensive, paper i got the quality that i wanted and this is just a photo with the shadows boosted by 50 percent, and it looks absolutely gorgeous so let's try some pro platinum canon paper and this is 300 gsm paper pro platinum glossy so it's for professional studio finish photo paper superior vividness inside the pack you can see the paper is well sealed very well presented just look how glossy and beautiful that paper is so there's two trays to load this printer i'm going to load it into the back tray because that's what allows for the thicker sheets so interestingly the actual table is shaking as this printer is doing its business the prints do come out fine even though there's a lot of shake here but there is a quiet setting that I'm going to enable to see if that reduces that shake of this table. Just look at that quality. It looks so serene, so much reflection. So in the settings, you go into various settings here, print settings, quiet settings. You can enable quiet modes and let's see if that reduces the shake. All right, now it's time to check out A3 paper. This is the photo paper premium matte. So it's gonna give you a non shiny finish. Around the back there, it says high quality matte photo paper, smooth surface for a smooth, super, for superb color reproduction. You see here, this is 210 GSM and it's A3 plus. So this is the largest size you can get out of this printer. So just look at the packaging here. You get an extra thick piece of cardboard just to protect that paper inside, the delicate paper inside. So you can see that this paper is slightly got a yellow tinge. This is kind of the stuff that you see in art galleries, high quality matte paper. But on my computer here, I've selected Super B, which is A3, and I've also gone for Borderless. And then I've scaled to fit to fill the entire page. So that's the preview right there. Remember, we're in the quiet setting because I want to reduce the amount of shake the table experiences. So there's still a little bit of table shake. Well, actually quite a bit of table shake, but it feels like it's reduced to when it was on non-quiet mode. So quality wise, this printer is amazing. Just look, just look how fine the prints look. It just looks gorgeous. These are different paper types. Also tried printing on laser paper. Don't use that because it just looks a little bit muddy. It doesn't work out well. Plain paper, the quality does look gorgeous. Just, it's just such 
such good quality even on plain paper but the plain paper because it's so thin kind of lets it down it looks a little bit cheap but on the premium papers so for example the photo paper plus glossy 2 that is that is straight up professional just the quality it's so it's so beautiful and reflective that's the good thing about these inject inks they they are they 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 blend with the paper so you get that gloss effect it just looks gorgeous next up the pro platinum photo paper that one is also glossy that is stunning just look at it's just a stunning print just looks stunning and finally for the matte paper premium matte it looks like it belongs in a gallery it's just it doesn't have the reflectiveness as the other glossy papers but it just looks like a work of art and the quality is just so gorgeous it's just so gorgeous the quality you even get a cd tray accessory for printing on cd roms uh, cd rom is a media device that was way popular about two decades ago you need to get the right cds that allow for color printing i don't have any on hand but yeah if you need to print out some cds to sell it out as uh, your album and all that kind of cool stuff you can use this all right so i've been using this printer for a few days now and i gotta say the quality is mm, it just looks so gorgeous the paper i love the glossy paper i actually heard that these non-pigment inks look best with gloss because it fuses with the gloss so just the quality of these prints are just gorgeous one thing i did is i printed a bunch of photos to start off with loads of photos because i found when i initially printed it the first time the photo came out a bit a bit dark compared to my monitor so i played with the settings and i found that if you boost the shadows by 50 percent, the quality looks gorgeous and just to, to prove that fact i actually compared the photo that i get from a print shop local print shop this photo was taken out of a print shop and this is the photo that comes out of the printer and it is a night and day difference just look at the waves here it is uh look at that my shirt is awful and grainy and the waves you can't see it's very pixelated over here just look how smooth my shirt is and the waves the quality is just so much it's like going from evga to svga 16-bit graphics to 32-bit just so much more gorgeous now out of the box the photo does come out a bit darker so the print shop gets the photo like the screen but the photo does come a bit more darker out of the box but like i said i boosted the shadows by 50 percent and it just comes out looking gorgeous all right so i'd like to introduce you to quality assurance Hi. now you're going to judge these okay. photographs and let me know what you think now first up we're doing the print shop versus the canon pro 200 challenge can you tell me which one yeah comes out from the print shop and which one comes out from the canon pro 200? well this might be hard or which is the best looking one it might be hard because generally print shops tend to be really of high quality so i'm hoping that i'll be able to tell you straight away okay well First things first, I can definitely see which is the worst. The one on your left is absolutely horrific. The reason I say so is because your shirt has got no definition to it whatsoever. The waves look like they're just made up. They're not actually made up. They're just fake. And um, it just looks awful. Okay, apparently awful. this one paid a professional print shop. Obviously, we've got the cheaper print quality. Is there a quick, what did you do? No, it's Kmart. Just the standard. And it's Kodak. Kodak. It's a Kodak printer. Okay, well. That's shocking. That's shocking. High okay. quality, amazing paper. Now, second up, look at this quality Ooh, print. That's beautiful. Wow. Look at that. I mean, gorgeous, but and, seriously, that is wow. And look at these the little colors. Ones. are so vibrant. Oh my goodness. Wow. Would you? This makes iPhone pictures or whatever phone this was. It oh looks gosh. better, isn't it? It, it just smooths it out, isn't it? Wow. And what this big one. That's amazing. That's an interesting finish, actually. That's like a matte finish. I think this would be better for like um, maybe yeah artwork or black and white. Oh, black yeah, and white black and white good. would be epic yeah. for this. I think this is so great for color. So you like glossy, color. right? Yeah, glossy is great for color. I think matte is good for black and white. We should try it out. So you Beautiful like the though. quality? Do you know what? This quality is exceptional. I don't think in my life I've ever had such good quality prints. Even when I think about like Snapfish or those other kind of online things, they're never as good as this. This just looks mwah, bellissimo. What I like, you can do edge to edge. Woo! True. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Miss QA. You're welcome. Off to QA something else. Now, regarding setting this bad boy up, 
I am connecting over via Wi-Fi. I had issues connecting over 5G Wi-Fi, but over 2.4 seems to work fine. I did have one intermittent cut off and that was before I installed the setup and the drivers. So just first thing you do, I recommend install the drivers and make sure I do the firmware update. Ever since I did those two things, I've been having good connectivity issues. But I guess if you want the most solid, reliable performance, because I've been seeing other reviewers state this, plug it in via USB or over Ethernet, because it's a more connected connection. And uh, prints, they, the table does shake quite a bit when it's printing. There is a quiet mode, and I kind of switched to that, not because of the noise, but just to reduce the amount of vibrations, because this isn't the most solid table infrastructure I got there. And just generally, it's just easy to use. I mean, when you want to do, want to start a print, just make sure you turn it on and the menu comes up. It does always offer you to set the kind of paper to use, but I kind of just ended up just setting it via software. And it does tell you, it does prompt you which tray you need. So there's two trays, there's a back tray here, and that's for the thicker pages. So if you're going for A3+, you're going to be using the back feed. Whereas if you're just using the little papers, you can use the front feed over here. And it's, uh, it seems to be able to suck it in and just use the paper accordingly. But overall, I've got to say the quality is, mm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to maybe bring in a pigment printer just to see how it compares, you know, because I, I don't know, it's going to be fun to see how much better these qualities can get. I don't know if it can. I guess, because it just looks absolutely stunning. I'm so happy with the quality. All right, guys, so let me know what printers you guys are using out there. This is the Canon Pro 200. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous quality. I'm going to print everything out. I'm going to have frames everywhere. I'm going to be, it makes you appreciate your photographs. Rather than looking at a little tiny screen on an iPad, you get to see it. Uh, I'm going to make some cards. You actually should stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a lot more print tests. I'm going to be trying out more paper. I'm going to be trying out printing out cards. I'm going to be trying to do some cool stuff. So make sure you check that out.